He was stopped uh, and then he was trying they tried to remove him out of the car. Uh, he was struck. Lady shoot He was tased. That's there's no other way to put it. That's just what happened. I was like, man. So we're, we're, we just want to get to the bottom of it because their stuff is not matching up at all. Which is what was for the video. The video just came out. The video just came out. So explain to me what you see in here. Uh, well, you don't hear all the car noise. And you can hear the conversation between my son and the officer. And he was abiding to their command. I just need to tell people what's going on. This makes me nervous. This makes me nervous because I'm hearing my son yell and you're complying to him. And you still shoot him anyway. That's imprinted in your memory forever. Our children are supposed to bury us. So, it's hard. But like I said, I got a lot of people in my life. A lot. A lot of people in my life. This video and, and everything and all the people that I'm not crazy. And all these people are not crazy either. They see what they see. They hear what they hear. You know, and it demands justice. Talk about the injustice. What is the injustice? Hey, I'll say get on YouTube uh, on the video. The whole 15 minutes. What happened? He should have left. They had a lock in the rock here all the way around. And he was stopped because he crossed two lines without signaling. It's a traffic ticket. But when you're a young African American in Portland, Oregon, we all know. I don't even talk about it. We all have my finager proof over and over and over. So, all I can say is that people downtown know exactly what I am. And that's as fair as I can get. They know what I am. So, hopefully the DOJ do their job. We have to keep this stuff accountable. Man, please. we just can't. We can't do this. It's been done for too long. Until I get justice. Until I get justice. I've seen the video. It takes five years. It takes ten years. I will be right Because what I was left with, the rest of my family was left with, you're not going to let it go. There's a lot of people out here. Portland is is is, is a great family town. And people care about people and people help people. And when injustice is done to families, people come out because it's wrong to do people wrong. You know, just it is. That, that's that's not something that's you know foreign. I've been here 52 years. I think the one run in I had with the police, I was 18. Who hasn't? But I learned, oh, I better not do that anymore. So it just is disturbing. After so many years, I saw a lot of stuff. And it just keeps getting pretty much. Hey, if we're going to have justice, let's have justice. Yeah. Period. I don't care who you are. Because the rules apply to everybody. That's the way our society runs. You've got to have rules. If you break the rules, you pay the price. It ain't rocket science. Watch the video.
because I'm tired of ads. I've asked for months. All they gotta do is look at the video. It's it's out there now. It's out there. You know, it's out there. So you know, I, I hope it goes viral. I hope I hope we get the same justice that Trayvon's did. That you think about okay. when you're wrong, you're wrong. Man. So you know, we we keep pushing. Yeah. I can't. Uh, Stress it anymore. Yeah, we just have to keep it because it shouldn't be us against them. They're public servants. Their job is to protect us. Foreign, domestic, that's their job. <laughs> All over the country, this stuff is just getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. It's like, it's like every morning when you turn on the news, somebody else is owned by the hands of police officers. What? Isn't there another solution? Do we have to shoot everybody we come across? Is that the only? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There are bad people out there. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm glad we got them. Because if we didn't, They say it's, you might bleep this one out. It is hell on earth. Yeah. And that's what holds that smile. <laughs> he's pretty much like his dad, he's kind of corny. But he's loving him. He will, he will light up a room. And he loves kids. I knew he was my son. And I knew when he talked to me, he talked to me like my son. Talked about girls, this, that, no jobs. You know. But I will say, and I have to say this, if someone is mentally incapacitated, they shouldn't have a driver's license. My son has had a driver's license for years. But one ticket. 25 with one ticket. Not a lot of people can say that at 25. So, I'm going to say, you know, he's my son. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fred? He's being investigated. Yes, DOJ is, is, is investigating. Fred, why is it the uh, federal government is in Portman, uh, the Attorney General's office, supposed to be investigating the police department, having cordoned off this street and had the police uh, rehearse their, their their situation here? The Oregonian yesterday, the day before yesterday, held this. Stress can alter the memory of events. Does that mean that the police are losing their mind? That's not what they mean, is it? That's the spin that they're putting on giving a plausible denial for their not being able to remember anything from one minute to the next. That's true. And the videotape reveals that nobody yelled gun, even though that's grand jury testimony put on by the district attorney. I want to know why the federal government is coming in for now. The Attorney General's office, Every Civil Rights Division, had assembled the police in here and had their cars put down. All of them have testimony, recorded their testimony, what happened here. Maybe that would refresh their memory standing in the street here. They haven't even done that. So that investigation is, as far as I'm concerned, any other citizen that thinks about an investigation, it's just the cover, part of the cover. -up. Ten minutes after the shooting, they realized they're being videotaped over there. They tell him to go hide inside the building. They tell the guy that's standing on the balcony up here to move back, move away. The man has been beanbagged, his body, his dead body has been beanbagged three times. Practice. Remember the police are out here at the gang unit, they're practicing their responses and communicating with all these different cars. And they followed him and got him trapped him in the neighborhood here like this is not very many people in here. And where the provenance of the weapons are. We have to find out 
uh, what were the wounds to Keaton's body? It sounds like now that we have the video posted on YouTube that we've got, I've got my hands up, I've got my hands up, are Keaton's last words. We know that the DA put together a bogus case. The police failed to investigate and secure the evidence as they did with Trayvon Martin. They were not in a pursuit of justice at that point. The cover-up had already begun. And now when it gets to the district attorney, he violates his oath of office by presenting a bogus case, not, okay, let's use Eileen Barnes, one of the eyewitnesses to the event. She's pulled over at the corner there. They preface the police officer's testimony with, he was a good boy, he was a 4-H member, he was a Boy Scout, he went to the academy, he is a trusted person in the community. They preface Eileen Barnes' testimony, which is, he told me to stay. He was afraid for his life. They preface that testimony with, she has a criminal history, she's a person of color. This is not to be compared to the trained observation that a police officer can provide you with, right? So when we see that the district attorney put together a case which included an officer telling the grand jury he heard the word gun, and we now have the video evidence where we know that was not the case. Well, the district attorney had that evidence, and yet he presented the false testimony of a fellow officer. So uh, you don't just have uh, police cover-up. You have something that pretends to be criminal justice. It is criminal justice, and somebody should go to jail.